Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Loading. So in this episode, I'm gonna do a little bit of review um, of how we can kind of use Spreadshock and animation nodes add-on in Blender to kind of procedurally set up something that looks like this. So what is this? So if I'm running the simulations, now this is actually Blender's on um, rigid body simulations. Currently they're looks like kind of exploding um, I'm not quite sure exactly why but probably because um, the objects are all too close to each other and but anyway they are doing like simulations and but what's interesting here is um, the setup um, the chair is actually procedurally created um, using Spreadshop uh, Remember in the previous live noting, I made this kind of like a chair or table or even like a stool creation. Um, and you can actually have like a variety of different chairs. Um, this one is actually all, they are the same thing, but um, I'm using one of the instance of the stool in this case to um, and bring it into animation nodes and currently with animation nodes we have um, we have a way to just use the uh, instancing object instancer um, kind of to to place the objects into some kind of layout like a starting point for the simulations it's actually um, super basic super simple to set up um, all we need to provide is like a, an objects that already have a rigid body dynamics being set up and we just need to bring it all and lay it, lay it out using animation nodes but at the very end we use the object group operator and just simply place the the rigid body the active rigid body into into the dynamic layer so once you do that um, animation nodes simply just uh, let go the transformation and then let blender dynamic handles the rest so that's kind of the idea so i'll, I'll start from scratch um i'll start with a spreadshop um, node setup that's uh, to build this uh, chair or stool whatever i'll make a small one uh, real quick currently oh actually there's chrome that's running in the background that's why it's slow i'm gonna close chrome browser real quick and then I don't know if I should restart blender or not but with this setup I, uh, I tried with 1000 objects still working nicely if I'm not recording um, in this case it seems to be running really slowly okay convex hole let's restart uh, the whole thing for this kind of simulations, anyway, you probably want to um, to bake the simulation if you if you really want to render it out. Um, at some point, I might even try like a Houdini simulations just for study and kind of bake Houdini simulations and bring it into Blender. Um, but um, I don't think you need. I think you need a license to do that, like a Houdini license to export out Alembic. But anyway, for now, let's generate the stool first of all. So this is um, I'm gonna name it procedural simulation basic. I remember talking about this at some point, but um, this is like the real um, user uh, like a use case scenario. So the node three of the chair is already done. So I I, I just need to import it. Um, like a tall chair. That's uh, that's the Jason. That's generating the chair, or the stool, whatever. I'm gonna make it super short, maybe, and smaller. So just a little stool like that. Um, I think that's enough resolution. Not too high, not too small. So I'm happy with this. I'm just a uh, file export obj. And 
save it as stool one. It should um, bake um, this modifier, all this uh, skin modifier and etc. will be baked. So now I just need to bring it in, file, import, um, obj, and keep for text order. Um, desktop, okay, still import obj. This guy is actually, I, I remember the polygon is flipped, so I need to fix this first of all. Make normal consistent. Okay, now it's good. File, save as procedural simulation. Okay, we have our stool. The graffiti, I'm gonna center it out. Set ori origin to geometry. Okay, now we have stool one here, and we want to use animation nodes. Um, this is for the dynamic, so I will have to have these uh, objects for the simulations. This is gonna be the floor, and turn on dynamic. Oops, not dynamic paint. It's a um, rigid body dynamic passive and this guy is a uh, rigid body dynamic active and convex hull is the one I'm using to make it faster but you can go like a mesh or capsule and if I run it it's just gonna work like that so it's really fast um, the next thing I will do is to have animation nodes to generate something um, let's see object instancer I believe and just grab this guy and then make sure I just turn off always and only updates when the property change um, yeah I think that should be good I'll make like five instance of these objects and then I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use like the loop and I'll prepare a bunch of vector I'll use line in this case to start with where is the line generator um, object generator oh where is it line do we have line objects uh, we have plane I know Mm. Objects instead of I'm actually using a different versions of animation nodes. Um, maybe this is. Hmm. Interesting. Well. I'm just gonna use a template, um, grid arrange objects, and I know uh, we just need to select these objects, and we can have that kind of grid. And the next thing I'll I'll do is to transform our object. multiply this is we have 25 objects and I'll I'm gonna put them apart like that and then if I run the simulation I don't think it will work right away but let's see this we don't need this anymore so we have our original only the only the original still currently working but if I'm if I'm using the group operations and then just uh, place these objects into the rigid body world, um, let's hopefully hopefully this actually work. There you go. 
Here we go, that's the simulations working for our stool. Um, there's all this bunch of lines, that's because of the parenting. Um, I just select this guy, object instancer, and tap U, and then hide the rela relationship in it. Um, relationship lines. We have this tool, currently they are all identical. Um, I want to randomize this guy a little bit, so I will use um, random Euler. Randomize the seed and plug this guy into the into the rotation to start with. So we have that happening, and if I run the simulation now, um, I'll hide the grid real quick. Display, hide the grid. Just run the simulations, and we have. 25 stool falling down into the floor um, of course you can have more and you can also um, randomize the location for example um, let me try doing that um, location random vector random vector and plug this guy into that guy index into the seed maybe vector input Um, actually, vector math, and just add these two together. Plug into the locations, so that I'm, I'm randomizing the position of this of the stool. And we can have a little bit more stool. Maybe make it uh, 100 or something. And run the simulations, and all works fine. So this is should it should be a little bit faster if I hide everything. Yeah, so there you go. This is um we can actually have like a bunch of stool um and then just let it lay them out in 3D for our simulations using animation nodes. Um but this is the the workflow uh, like the workflow that I'm proposing using um Spreadshock add-on and animation nodes add-on. So they both works um, works well like this it's like a kind of like a, I'm surprising that this is becoming so easy to do in Blender because of this kind of a, a not a not based workflow maybe in the near future if we have like a um, Blender particle system that's all node based and being able to use instancer to do all this it's gonna be a lot easier currently all of these are real objects okay so this is like kind of heavy simulations but also blender handle it really really well so we have this uh, we can have a thousand or even ten thousand um, objects and it this will still work if you bake it out um, I'll try render it out maybe with a like bunch of stool and then see how it looks um, but anyway this is pretty much it it's like a basic um, workflow um, everything procedural from modeling using Spreadshop and then um, we laid it out using animation nodes and then we just set the dynamic system procedurally as well we can also assign like a procedural material for its tools and render it out using blender cycles and they're all just gonna work okay so yeah, pretty, that's, uh, that's it for this live coding if you have any questions suggestions just let me know and uh, thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next